Mm. I think. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. That thing you texted me, right? Um, you mean the picture I sent you on Instagram? Yeah, they have a whole bunch of them uh, of that guy saying it. But uh, the World Cup's been super exciting. <laughs> the World Cup has been super exciting, everybody. I mean, mm-hmm. we, it has been really, really good. It has. Except the first knockout game today. And I'll explain to you why for all you casual soccer fans who are trying to get into the World Cup. Because when you tuned in today to watch Brazil take on Chile... And they made it to the 90th minute, and then the whistle blows, and then you had to sit there and watch a half hour more of these motherfuckers flopping around like fish. Mm-hmm. That got up, that, for me. Oh, when they that, fall down, like, when you was, touch them? Yeah, that was, and people are like, you're a fan of the NBA and you can't handle that? Just, yeah. Come on, man. I mean, dude walks by, runs past him, goes like this, and the guy falls out as if he got shot by a 45. And I don't understand why it has to be that a full half hour, because that last half hour of that game, Previous to the shootout was tough to get through for me. Yeah. Like, here's, look, the only way soccer's ever, 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 ever gonna be take, be popular here, like they want it to be, shrink the field, make the goals smaller, get rid of offsides, period. That's so. it. Yeah. That's it. There's a great article out, out there about what would happen if the United States best, best athletes actually played soccer. Shorty, it'd be a wrap. Yeah. They put Calvin Johnson, the wide receiver, at goalie. <laughs> right, right, right. They put right. they put Kobe Bryant, um, LeBron James, and a host of other people as defensive people. Right. My thing is, if you're flopping when these little guys touch you, what's going to happen if LeBron James? Oh yeah, because I mean, most of your soccer players. I mean, you look at guys like you know Cristiano Ronaldo, who's lengthy and tall, and I mean he's he's and LeBron's he's, bigger than him yeah, bigger and than just him. as fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With or without a ball, yeah. because our athletes don't train to play soccer; they've trained to play everything else. Oh, yeah. And look, I'm not taking. Look, for right now, the world beats the shit out of us in soccer. I have no problem saying that. Mm-hmm. Fine, go for it, kill it, tear it up. It's all yours. You can have it. Mm-hmm. You can have cricket. You can have high lie. You can have squash. You can have all that shit. What about polo, son? Fuck, have a blast. Do they even own horses anywhere else? I don't know, man. How about water polo? Oh, that's just for black real. people. Don't touch that. No. Fuck around, think you're drowning. No economics. Economics. I did. Bucket. I told. I told you that, man. The one time I was at the beach, I did the show from the beach and talked about like why black people can't swim and Latino people can't swim. Bullshit! How'd they get here? <laughs> Not all those rafts make it. They gotta huh? know how to swim. <laughs> Come on. Scarface made it. Anyway, um, but it is. It, you know, obviously the U.S. got past the group of death. Okay. Da, da, da. Um, and... I, I have. I will say this. I have soccer. I have loved World Cup soccer. I, I'm. I'm. I'm a fan of it. I've been excited about it. I love seeing the whole world on the plane. It's been field. entertaining. It's been very entertaining. This knockout stage is very interesting. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. I mean, it's very interesting. Well, we had the first knockout. Brazil advanced today by beating Chile in. Um, um, the shootout. Mm-hmm. Colombia advanced today as well by just pure domination. They're averaging, I think, three goals a game. just Rod- Rodriguez get on the field because that kid is on fire. Yeah. He has five fucking goals in the World Cup. Well, what's Lionel Messi? Lionel Messi's got three or four. He's got four. Yeah. But everybody expected that. Who was Rodriguez from Colombia? Did you know who he was? Nobody knew who he was. Everybody in the world knows Let who he was. Let me tell you what, every Colombian in this country knows who the fuck Rodriguez is. Every was. American knows he was because they were blowing his name up on Twitter. Well, anyway... That Bama, it they're gonna beat Brazil. Hmm. I, I don't I don't think Brazil stands a shot. For I, I think they're gonna knock them out. The whole I I agree with you. I think when they meet in in the quarterfinals, I think that's where you're gonna see an upset. Um, and that's not till Friday what that's Friday the fifth. That's not till uh uh what is that Friday the fifth Friday the fifth yeah Friday the fifth now. The next match up matchups we have are our dubs, which will be Sunday, which you guys won't see this for a while. Yeah, so. the Netherlands are playing Mexico tomorrow. Mexico's we'll gonna see. smash them. Mexico's on fire, dude. I, 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 yeah, I hope I hope not, because this household will be not happy. I will have to be dealing with some crazy shit. Dude, have you seen what Mexico's been? They are. On yeah, but the Netherlands are good as shit. They're okay. beating the shit out of everybody. They haven't lost a fucking game yet either. All right. And they were in the, they were in the finals last time. You can put a quarter on it. Yeah, I'll put a quarter on. Okay. As a quarter so, pounder. So, so <laughs> which George is, no, you have had a quarter pounder, right? Yeah, no. You, you, George, this, this is amazing. I'm not kidding. I'm not, George I'm not even joking. George never had. A Big Mac a, or a Whopper. A Big Mac from McDonald's or a quarter pound of cheese. Or a quarter pounder. Quarter pound of cheese 
or a Whopper from... Now, let me tell you something. This motherfucker plows down some fast food, okay? Oh, yeah. I'll fuck some Taco Bell up in a heartbeat. Yeah, you fuck some Taco Bell. Just go, like you fucked up my bathroom. Yeah, my go-to at McDonald's, two hamburgers, no onions, a medium fry, a four-piece nugget, and a milkshake. That's my go-to. That's your go-to? Go-to. Yeah, I, I, I double up on the Big Macs, and I get the big-ass fries. And then I do what everybody else does, is fucking get the Diet Coke. Because it's a dollar. Yeah. Any size to size. Diet Coke, though. Any, like, any, that's healthy. Yeah, I, you know, the calories. Because you, you know? just like the flavor. Yeah, it's just the flavor and shit. Meanwhile, guys, let me tell you something about How do you feel about cleaning up? Hmm? How do you feel about cleaning up? Cleaning up what? After someone stopped by. Like, if someone stops by, your girl's there, and you guys are all hanging out, and he might make a mess, and you gotta come clean it up. <laughs> oh, my God, that shit. No. Yeah, this was George showed me this video, y'all. I mean, you know, George does this shit. Like I was now. This is the fucking thing. We were watching the UFC shit. And it was so boring. I'd fallen asleep, and all of a sudden, like a little kid at Christmas, George goes, "Hey, look at this!" Right? I'm in a dead sleep. I wake up, and I fucking look at it. This fucking porn video. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, look at this shit. And I'm watching it. This and dude's watching, killing her. And it's this killing. dude just killing this girl, and right? It's interracial sex here. Black it's, it's, dude is just beating this white woman's vagina to death. Wearing her ass out, right? So it, he's. we're watching this thing. We're sitting there looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, looking and at it. And I know what's going to happen. I'm getting. George goes, just wait till it gets to minute four. And I'm like, going, okay, 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 okay. He's just still, he's still fucking you know, tearing it up, whatever, you know? And then all of a sudden, he's done. Right? And by done, he pulled out and cream like a cream pie. Right. You guys can look that one up. Yeah, you so know what I'm saying? The black guy pulls out, creams all over the outside of the white woman's right. vagina. <laughs> the young so, sports show, sports show. Right, so I'm like, all right, I've seen enough of this before. <laughs> then all of a sudden, <laughs> I see this white dude slide underneath her and clean up the mess with his tongue. Do you know how many things have to happen before you can even get to Clean that up. point? I, I mean, he is basically after after dude has just said he's just like I'm gonna clean it up for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. Not I'm gonna, we're not talking about paper towels or yeah, nothing, a mop or bucket. Like we're talking about his, his just face gobble this dude's wide up. I yeah. mean, that was the nastiest shit. That was fucking you know, hilarious. And it woke me up because I've been wide awake since I've seen that foul shit. I have not gone back to sleep. I was in an awesome slumber. I'm wide fucking awake for the next five days because of that dirty ass bastard. That fucking cuckold. Anyway, let's talk about World Cup. Uh, you got the Netherlands versus Mexico and you also have Costa Rica going up against Greece tomorrow. Which kill them. Yeah. <laughs> this is George. This is George. This is, George. This is how George does World Cup. Mexico's gonna kill him. Greece is gonna kill him. He just says the countries he's familiar with. Because, <laughs> because the Greece, they have those motherfuckers from 300. They can play soccer. That's your boy, not me. <laughs> Come on now. Anyway, then we're gonna have Argentina going up against Switzerland. That'll be fun to watch. And, and obviously the USA going up against Belgium. And the winners of those two, those two, uh, We'll win in the quarterfinals. That's the Argentina answer. versus USA? Yeah, I could be scared. I would love to see On the other side, you know, France is going to be playing against Nigeria, and uh, Germany is going to be going up against Algeria. So it's it's interesting. Um, this, the last 16 are left. Um, I guess we'll be tuning back in you guys sometime in the middle of next week. We're going to be tuning back into them? You guys will be tuning back in us. I hope. Um, you know, it's tired. Maybe. It's late. It's like 2.30 in the fucking morning. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But uh, that's our World Cup coverage. And look, for the person who sat there and watched our first attempt at this, you get it. Mm -hmm. We are not analyst, super analyst people thing things. This no. is not our full-time job. We do this for Oh, time. the one thing that we would have talked about, and it's typical of me and George talking about, is the guy's the giant rodent from Uruguay. The rodent. The guy that just bites the fuck out of people. And he calls you a nigger, too. <laughs> nigger. And he runs off. That guy... That guy, that guy, that guy is that, that's the, that, that guy. And then we turn around and says, I did not try to bite him. I tripped up and I fell into his shoulder and my fucking big ass fucking, you know, teeth dug into his shoulder. Do you know he, he said that he tripped up and things happened in the, in, in the pitch? Okay. No, motherfucker. Things don't happen in a pitch. Okay. First of all, your big buck ass teeth don't come down and gouge into a motherfucker's shoulder. He said he tripped up into his shoulder. You know, I just tripped up into my supper and ate that shit last night. I mean, anyway, tell us your feelings on that fucking guy. He tripped up into that woman's vagina. Yeah, that's nasty as shit. Adios, deuces.